you want to kind of start by uh, introducing yourself? What's your name, intended major, and year here on campus? My name is Bree. I am a grad student in the creative writing program with a focus on poetry. Um, and yeah, I'm hoping to get a master's in creative writing. My name is Braxton Margarano. I'm a junior economics major, and I also do some independent research in anthropology. My name is Amanda. I'm a current freshman, and my major is health science with a pre-professional in uh, physical therapy. I'm Tara. I'm a freshman, and I am uh, majoring in criminology, psychology, and behavioral sciences. My name is Gabriel Waters. I'm a junior here at Butler, and I'm a management information systems. My name is Noelle Stuck. I am a sophomore here at Butler. Um, right now, I am a biology major, um, but I am considering taking up a second major in environmental studies. My name is Bailey. I'm a junior here. I've been here since I was a freshman. I'm a bio major, chem minor, and I'm pre-med right now, but I go back and forth between pre-med and pre-vet. So. Um, I'm Nick Cho. Oh, I'm a junior here. I'm um, business marketing. My name is Lily House. I am a junior now. I just transferred here. Are you doing? Um, and I am a biology pre-med major. Um, I'm Oscar Smythe. I'm a sophomore here. And right now I'm exploratory business, but I'm probably looking towards finance. So my name is Malcolm Harper. I'm a strategic communications major and I'm a freshman. My name is Diana Busseldua. I am a sophomore at Butler University and I'm a dance performance major. My name is Kate Snook. My major is biochemistry with probable minors in biology and Spanish and I am a sophomore here. My name is Jade. I'm a dance performance major here at Butler and this is my third year here. My name is Avery George. I am a senior here at Butler. Um, it's my fourth year. I am a computer science and psychology major. Hi, I'm Katie. I am a sophomore at Butler and I am a double major with theater and elementary education. My name is Jade. I am a first year. I'm an exploratory study student, so I'm undecided. So kind of starting off, uh, the first question I want to ask is why did you choose Butler University? Um, so <laughs> I chose Butler. I'm actually from California, which is kind of odd for yeah. this um, college. But I chose Butler because they would allow me to double major with my two majors. Um, both theater and ed are pretty large majors. And yeah. So it yeah. can be hard to find places that are very encouraging of it or even allow it. Um, and so this school was very encouraging. They're also, I just really liked the community. Yeah. Um, and I was looking to find a place with seasons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, Butler had all of that. I chose Butler primarily for the dance program, and I also enjoy that it's like a smaller community, so I get to know more of the community. I chose Butler because I was really interested in like the small school feel and like having teachers and professors that like really cared about me. And um, also, I uh, am an athlete. I run track and field, so I'm trying out for the track team now. So that was a big part of it as well. I chose Butler because I felt like it was the uh, best place for me to succeed um, post graduation. I felt like there'd be people who would be here for me during my time here, where I felt like other colleges, I was kind of left high and dry, would have been left high and dry to find my own ways. But I knew I'd have people alongside here on the administration or faculty side of things. I chose Butler because it's close to home, so I kind of know the local area. Um, and then the size, I went to like small middle school, small high school, so I didn't want to go somewhere and be overwhelmed, and I thought Butler was perfect for that. Um, I chose Butler University because it was the school that was offering the most money. Um, it was also kind of the, um, it wasn't my safe school, but um, it was a school that I had previously reached out to in regards to their dual degree engineering program. It was a five-year program, and that's what really stood out to me. Um, but then I decided to change it for computer science and psychology. So kind of following up on that, uh, what areas would you have liked to see more of uh, information on during the recruitment process? All of the resources that they have to offer to their students. Um, I feel like it wasn't really emphasized and I felt like I wasn't really doing okay in terms of my academics until I learned about those resources, started using those resources. You have like
like your writing center. Um, you have, they got a whole bunch of, what do they call it? Not counselors, but they got a whole bunch of counselors, both guidance counselors, the ones that help you with your academics. Uh, they got people set aside that'll help you set up your schedule specifically. So it's like you got specific things that you might be having problems with that you can go actually get help with, actually feel like you come out of there accomplished. I feel like I got a lot about the like the clubs and what Butler had to offer, but I wish I probably had more about like the social aspect, I guess. More about how I could get involved in the Greek life and things like that. How to get into that. Uh, yeah, during the recruiting process, I definitely wish I would have known more about the school and more of what they had to offer. I didn't really know all of like the different programs we have here. Um, for example, I didn't even know we had like a good pharmacy school until I came to school, but I mean, I'm not pharmacy, but it's still cool. But like, now that we have a really good pharmacy program. I probably would have liked to see the actual inside of classes more, because they do tell you the class size, but the proportions of the classrooms are not exactly what you would expect also. And just really getting a feel for it, feeling more at home on your first day would have been very nice. I wish I had known more about Ball, or about the campus, I guess, but also Broad Ripple. I didn't know much about that before I came, and also I haven't really been to downtown Indy. I'm not sure what there is to do in downtown Indy right now, but I'm hoping I can find some fun things in the future. Yeah, so the biggest uh, point of more gaining more information while at Butler has just been in uh, diversity, equity, inclusion in general. That's what my research is centered on, and therefore that's where a lot of the education has been had had to be done individually and on the side, rather than like from the university and from a university perspective. And I, f I found out the student perspective on diversity, equity, inclusion, particularly underrepresented students is a lot different than maybe what it was advertised as. What challenges do you feel like that you face when transitioning from high school to college? Um, I think one thing that really made me think, or that I've had to think about more is in high school, like everything was kind of handed to me, but here I know that like Butler's known for being um, good for people who are looking for internships or like reaching out to careers and stuff, um, but you have to actually do that. <laughs> so I gotta um, start making connections, and so that's one thing that I didn't have to do in high school because my high school is also really small, so. It hasn't been that much of a challenge. I feel like I adjusted pretty well. It's always been a pretty good student academically, so it kind of feels the same. Yeah. Definitely the academics are harder, and um, there's just a lot more homework and a lot. You have to like really find a balance, and it's kind of hard to find the balance between like academics and like social life. Um, and so that's been the hardest thing, I think. I would say, that's a good question. That, honestly, I didn't have a ton of challenges to overcome because I feel like I was at a point in my life where I was ready to move on. Yeah. So in terms of social aspects, I was very comfortable doing so. And on an academic level even, maybe too, I would say it, as a junior, the biggest challenge now is uh, finding my place in the real world because I feel like it's so different than what I kind of value on a personal level. So it's hard to find myself in the real world yeah. coming from college, um, where I've been able to find a lot of meaning and places for change, if that makes sense. The most challenging part was actually COVID. Yeah. Um, my high school was very rigorous, so I felt already prepared for college. Um, I went to a private school, so okay. yeah. Um, but COVID was definitely the hardest part of transitioning. Probably like time management. It's like really hard to be on your own kind of and I really miss like my parents and like having that kind of structure. That's definitely the biggest challenge for me. So my last question uh, for you here is kind of do you feel safe and welcomed here at Butler University? In terms of being safe, yeah, I, f I feel safe I'd say. You know, I don't ever have really too many problems walking around. Most you'll get is a couple looks like, oh, yeah. You go here, but in terms of when it comes like the campus as a whole, not so much the people on the campus that I see that I interact with, I wouldn't say that I feel too safe. Nah. Like the diversity 
on the campus isn't much. It's increased since I've been here, though, over these past couple of years. Um, the diversity center here, it does what it can to try to provide a safe space for your minorities, your people of color, people who don't look like the norm around here. But when it, it feels like to me that the diversity center is battling the rest of the campus, the rest of the campus centers, and it's just like, we don't need that. I actually really do. Um, going into this, I didn't expect to feel so safe, but we have all sorts of the blue emergency things around campus. Like just from any standing point, you can see one. So it just makes you feel better knowing that you could run and hit it and someone will be there in 30 seconds. Yes, I feel safe. I like, um, even at night, there's a lot of lights, a lot of people are still out. Um, if you feel uncomfortable, there's always BUPD. Um, as for welcome, it's kind of hard. I think as a minority in a school full of white people, it's kind of hard to find like your group um, and like people that, I don't know, you relate to because this is a private school full of white people. So. As a minority who's used to public high school and stuff, it's just yeah. been a big change for me. But I've found friends and people that I feel comfortable around with, so yeah, I feel yeah. welcome now. I definitely feel very safe. It's there's a lot of um, I like to call it like Midwesterny vibes. Yeah. I grew up here, and it's great to see a lot of friendly faces that just stop and say hi. So yeah. definitely, <laughs> I definitely feel safe here. Like. It's like a small campus, like it doesn't really feel like there's like a lot of like crime going on. It feels like a safe campus, like I don't feel afraid when I'm like walking around alone at night yeah. or anything like that. I, I do feel like welcomed, but like at the same time I like really came here to dance. So like I wouldn't probably wouldn't have chose Butler if it wasn't for the dance program. Yeah. yeah. So like it doesn't really feel like it's my home but like butler ballet feels like my home but like butler university like doesn't really if that makes sense i do i do there's the uh idea of the butler bubble i don't know if you've heard about it but it basically has to do with like a community care and also just uh being safe on campus and being in a big city and everything um i feel like we're in a side neighborhood of that but also still part of Indianapolis. And I think that all contributes to just feeling safe here.